Ladies and gentlemen, we are back live in the MLG Arena here in Columbus, Ohio. Puckett and Benson up in the booth. It's time for the winner's bracket finals. I can't believe we're here already. This weekend has flown by. Right? It, Optic Gaming versus TK now. Now, Optic has been looking stellar throughout the winner's they bracket. Have. But now they're facing off against Team Caliber. Looking at the bracket at the start of the weekend, not a lot of people expected TK to be here, but they have been clutch when they need to. Winning the big games at the biggest moments, they're able to just dominate those engagements, and mm -hmm. now they're here. Last time we really saw a match like this, X Games Grand Finals, Optic was able to come out with gold as TK took home silver. Very true, and of course, for you guys watching at home, we have a micro set to give away. You can see in the lower third below exactly how you enter it. Uh, but going back to the Optic Gaming versus TK pocket, you know, we saw this matchup with the exact same teams at Columbus. So, I mean, I don't, I don't know how I feel. I, yeah. Me and you had some, some words yeah. about this series earlier on. Uh, I don't think this is going to be as straightforward for the Green Wall as a lot of people expect this one to be. There's actually money on the line here. There is a little and bit I gave Ben 2-1 to one odds. He gave me such good odds, I had to take a bet. But that's how confident I am in the Optic Gaming crew. But let's I first introduce it. this Team Caliber lineup. As I mentioned, they have gone big when they need to. They've been a little bit shaky at times, but really Theory, when he gets going in S&D, he's been able to dominate some fantastic objective play from him so far this weekend. And I was talking to him about his thoughts matching up against the squad, and he said, you know, there's only two teams to beat them. We're one of them. Exactly. It's a really good, uh, good point. Looney, the standout player really for Team Caliber at this event, I feel. You know, look at his stats, his Slayer rating, the 29.13, and his respawn KD, 1.1. And that has followed through to land. It isn't like that's just an online stat. It, we've seen that hit at Columbus. Looney, arguably the best player I've ever seen in up. Like Goonjar, though, has been the key to success in he a really lot has. of their CTF games. His bow was on point last night. We'll see, can he get some big first bloods? 35% of their first bloods coming from him. And then you have Sharp. Sharp, just well-rounded player, kind of an in-game leader, shot caller in all things they do. Really going to look for Sharp to have a solid day. He's been consistent, but I haven't seen any games where he has just gone off yet. And I think that's going to be something you may see this game. Now he's here in the winner's bracket final. And again, it was one of those situations. TK coming into season one finals, no one expected them to do anything. Everyone kind of under, underestimated their abilities, and, and that's what TK thrive for. They thrive to be the underdogs. Every single time they've been the underdog, they've come out and performed so well. Look at, right. you know, going back to X Games, they failed to qualify for season three. They were going to X Games, and everyone was like, oh, you know, there's, there's no point even thinking about TK. They land themselves civil money. Absolutely. Uh, they just perform when they want it most, and they're guaranteed top three. The question is, will they be able to secure a top two spot with the first position in our championship match? Let's go across the stage, though, to Optic Gaming. There's tons of fans here in the crowd cheering them on today. Krim6, the in-game leader, it seems. He has taken over that role. Krim saying, I just fill in the gaps. He's yep. going to be your roamer in S&D as well. Yeah, he's been such an important part for this Optic Gaming squad this year, without a shadow of a doubt. And then, of course, Formal. We saw Formal yesterday just take over a game, and his statistics this event has been insane. His respawn KD coming into the event 1.14, and his Slayer average was 30. This event, his slaying average is 37 kills per respawn. Just think about that. We played three respawns. He's been the scariest player out of anyone we've seen this week. And that game, those games last night, I was expecting a 60 bomb nade shot. <laughs> we caught him slay shot on Friday with the way he was playing. Didn't touch the objective KD. at all in an uplink game that we watched. Instead, he was the lead slayer. But Skump, Mr. Consistent, when you need kills, you look at the king. And he has just been throwing them left and oh, right yes. down on everybody. That matchup against Rise, I would never want to play against Scump. He just embarrassed right. some of their players. He did have a shaky s &D yesterday, though. We have to remember that. Started off 0-7 right. before finally finishing 1-8. Uh, That's something which I think against Team Kabi you're not going to be able to do. Uh, looking at the map, it's going to be a similar map rotation to what we actually just saw. And, and that's what I want to get into, because okay. when you and I were doing our bet this morning, the reason you were so high on TK was this map list. Why right. do you think it plays in TK's favor? It's just everything they could wish for. Detroit hardpoint to kick things off, up to game is worse hardpoint. Like, it, I mean, online statistics still 60%, which you look at and you're like, oh, that's brilliant. But it is their worst hardpoint, and that's something <laughs> which you have to... 60% your worst. Yeah, you have to think about that. And every time you've seen them play online, sometimes they've made a couple of mistakes. And thinking about this map is very similar to how we saw the last game with, you know, uh, the, the Clayster versus Slasher role that I was talking about on the analyst desk. That's going to be key for this game as well, I think. Whoever can control that hill and the anchoring position for third and fourth is going to come out on top. So look for Formal to be top Atlas if 
if Looney can outslay him on that rotation, TK can win this map. Well, speaking of key players, let's look at him. Krim 6 versus Looney. Formal is going to be running the battle, but Krim in their previous matchups has held a 1.2 KD against Team Caliber. On top of that, 10 captures and almost 32 kills per game. Looney, he's the lead slayer for this TK squad. I'm looking for him to have a great one. 8.5 caps of his own. He's been very well routed in the matchup against our top team from season one. He's He's been phenomenal. He really has. And then just talking about some of the other maps in the series as well. Uh, recovery Search and Destroy. Again, one of uh, Optic Gaming's worst game types. So if TK went to a up here, Pucket, that wouldn't be so surprising. Well, it's time to kick things off, guys. Get your hashtags flowing. We got the MLG Pro League all over Twitter. Hashtag the team you think is going to win, Optic or TK. And of course, at MLG and at Micro Center for a chance to win a $100 gift card to Micro Center. We're kicking things off. Detroit Hardpoint, the outslang team, was 54 and 8 on this map during season one. Ben, as we kick things off, who's your player to go with? I, I really think we should stop on board with Krim 6. I think Krim, you know, he was a key player to watch in this matchup. We haven't really highlighted him so much this event because there's been so many other things going on, but that in-game leadership role has been so crucial for him. And as well, he's dropping good numbers too. Ben, I am so hyped right now. It, I, I, this I is have adrenaline be awesome flowing. I know Krim is going to be bringing it as well. You see the double nades going out, and he is going to pick up the first kill of the game as Goonjar is going to answer back for TK. Nate shot on your screen, though. Going to put some pressure as Goon is actually opening up 3-0. and oh. Expected maybe some bow action. Okay. Not right now. He's going ASM1, and he is going to open up 4-1. and one. Fantastic start from him. I think TK know realistically, you know, the way you're going to beat up the gaming on Detroit Hardpoint is aggression. You're going to see Goonjar, as you said, running that ASM1, trying to flood that hardpoint. And that's what they're doing. They've managed to just get a little bit of time on this first hole, and that's crucial because how many times have you seen players like Formal Slay around the outside of that first hill, Nate Shot sits on it and just racks up so much free time. Here he's showing off his reaction time, connected on a nice melee near the hard point. That is going to buy a 60 second to 10 second lead here for TK. Now we're going to see Skump though for Optic Gaming trying to find some kills. They're also going to be cognizant of the next hard point. It's rotating now and Skump is going to help lock it down. The spawns, those are going to be held by Nade Shot currently and we're going to look at the opposite side. The teammate Formal trying to get in this window to watch the alley. Optic Gaming had complete green side control. They can't afford to throw it away, but Theory and Looney actually picking up a big two kills. So now Formal may actually have to push on this half point. You don't see him do this role very much, but he knows he has to push through and try and get that back alley control, but he's going to fall as well. So TK coming out this gate, very, very hot bucket. Looney 7 and 2, Theory 6 and 3, Gunjar 7 and 4, everyone playing their role properly for TK so far, answering aggression with their own. We got Looney staying indoors. Can he fend off the Optic Gaming Rush? There's one. His teammates in the kill feed. You see Sharp helping out as well. What a start for Team Caliber. This is the rotation that's going to be so key that you heard me talking about, though. Going for that third and fourth rotation. If Formal can get that top atlas site, Realistically, I don't think. In fact, that's a kill. He's Sharp down. actually just killed Formal, so that's actually really big for, for TK. If they can control that, they may actually get a lot of time here on that third hill. I went over to Sharp to see what he's running, sticking with the ASM1. It seems all four players are, for the moment, for Team Caliber. Kunjar is going to be trying to break from the ramp, so as Optic Gaming, despite losing Formal over here, are the first ones inside. We're going to see Skump try and rotate for that power position, and Formal is actually going to switch over to the submachine gun to hold down the garage. I like that play. Recognize he wasn't going to be able to lock down the anchoring there with the bow, so just immediately jumped on the hill, trying to get as much time as they can. But TK have broken the hill, and it looks like they're getting those favorable spawns as well. So as long as Theory can just stay alive, he's just going to get Oh killed. my Theory. Theory! Oh, if he finds that kill as well, he's that would be massive. He's the X Factor, man. When Theory goes off, TK is going to establish some dominance. He is 12-5 and five to open it up. Looney, we said he was going to be the key slayer also right up there with him, continuing to slay out. 11 and 5. Man, we're look seeing Optic, Optic Gaming spawning. getting spanked in the kill column. Take a look at those numbers. Yeah, the double negative Nate shot. Almost a, I mean, look at Krim, Krim 4 and 12. Krim, when does Krim start Krim a game neck. 4 and 12? Like, that's not what you expect. And again, that's come down to the fantastic control of the spawns that you've seen TK have. However, they have thrown that away a little bit. Optic Gaming have some good control of this back hard point, and they could just completely reduce this lead that TK has on this hard point. That wouldn't be the most crazy thing to happen. You got Nate shot watching the flank. Krim is going to be watching 
watching the alley. Nade shot goes down, so the pressure is coming from the back. Big kills being scored. Looney doing the damage, but Krim, last man up, gets a huge kill. Gonna look for a second as teammates now flooding into support. Krim is the reason Optic is yep. able to pull back into this oh, game. Gets a little bit unlucky with his reload time. Scum's gonna try and trade the kill, but not gonna happen. And now you have TK trying to hold down this spawn. This is a very big kill from Looney if he can get it. Tries to throw out the nades, but Trevi System comes in. There's two plays in there. He wins the first. Looney nearly found the second. That would have been phenomenal, but Goonjo's gonna flood in the hill as well. They're gonna win that gun fight. Hardpoint still contested, and it's gonna be Krim6 once again who's gonna pick up the scrap time. And that's exactly what I said, Pucket. You could see up the gaming coming back on that hardpoint. Enormous one on one situations there, one by Krim. We're going over to Scump. Scump with a kill backfire is going to be rotating through. Finds a second. And we're going to see now Formal trying to push up through the school door is not going to be able to get there. Goonjar is locking down this mid street. He falls. Nate shot is in and Scump has broken through as well. It's like Optic Gaming have just flicked a switch at this point. They're managing to control those spawns, dictate the pace of the game. That's the key. Crimson's locking down a lot of kills in quick succession. has brought him almost even pocket. He was quad neg and now three kills away from that one KD. Fantastic stuff in the last two minutes here from Optic. They make it a seven point game, but TK with that kill will be able to lock it down and pick up a few more points. As I say it, the two piece coming in. Formal adding to the kill feed as well. He's on a two streak of his own. Not gonna be able to hold it for long. Nade shot in as this hill has been highly contested. Yep, this this whole first rotation has been a little bit hectic. You've seen at times TK have complete control and then Optic Gaming is, as I said, just kind of switching on the beast mode as Scrump actually on game. a four streak, make that a five streak as he kills that three players from Team Kyle. We're on that last hill. Four seconds left. Optic Gaming going into the second side of rotations in the lead. Optic Gaming's first lead of the game, it feels like, and we are going to see how oh. long can they hold Set. it. Will TK be able to answer back? They're setting up for the next hard point. It's going to be here in the mid, and we're going to see who is going to get early control. It is Optic. Scump slaying out seven streak, going for those double digits. TK needs to just recompose himself here because they've just allowed Seth to take over this game, and that's what he can do. He is just such an explosive player. Finally, he falls now. That's a good sign for TK, but they need to lock down this mid-hop point. Before that streak, he was negative, so Scump exactly. really going off gives his team a nice advantage. Team Caliber still fighting for control of the middle. Who are you looking at from TK to heat up once again? Because it seems that all four players kind of taken off the gas pedal. Has to be Looney. Looney, 21 of 16, but he was making some key kills. May have not necessarily been, you know, like four or five pieces, but the kills he was getting was so crucial for TK to have the lead. Whereas now, you see Goonjar actually on this mid hill, tries to turn around and find the second, but he's going to fall. And up to gaining, you know, just starting to pull away. And if TK don't compose themselves going into this green hill, which in actual fact, they haven't managed to out-rotate Crim6. Crim6 could be a big problem there, but Looney does kill him. One more play from up to gaming in the back. That's going to be formal. He's already picked up one and if Scump pinces this half point up the game, he's going to get complete control. Formal's going to push into the hard point. Didn't see the opponent slip past him, though. That sharp point is so smart here in the green hall. Their opponents, though, you're going to see Krim6 from Optic Gaming holding down the RVs, and he is going to be in the back as Formal is going to push in to help out as well. Optic now with a 30-point advantage down to the last three minutes and 30 seconds here on Detroit. Again, Optic Gaming completely taking control, winning those key gun fights, giving the team the spawns that they need, and Formal's just going to sell on this hill. Doesn't even need to peek out. No one from TK realistically is going to be in a position to charge that. And this is a huge 25 seconds left. TK, no, they can't give it up. This is a big 1v1 actually on the hill. Formal's going to win it. That was against Theory and up to gaming looking set to pick up map number Optic one. Optic has such powerful control outside of the hard point. You see TK just giving up. They're going to feed another 10 points to Optic, who will be at about 178 to 110, a 62 point advantage here going into the last three minutes. But now it's going to come down to Sharp. Can he hold the ramp? No. First <laughs> kill going straight to Scump. Now Looney tries to answer back, gets one, didn't take any fire, going to pick up a second. That's Theory actually doing the damage. Looney was behind him. Nice teamwork here from the TK squad to lock down Garage now, for now. If TK can do what Optic Gaming did to them in that first side of rotation, which is exactly what Theory's doing. Theory's starting to heat up a little bit here with a four kill streak. May need to actually track back because there's going to be two more players from Optic Gaming. There's the first second's going to be right on the ramp. Theory trying to go big, and Vatual Fight is going to get control. Looney with the help. And as I said, if TK can do what Optic Gaming did in the first side of rotations, they will come back into this game and into the last Look game. at Goon! Goon with the triple! Oh, the assist comes in, but still, big plays coming out from Team Kaba. The rotation for this next half point, no pocket, is the most important rotation in the game right now for TK. And no one is rotating. Everyone's still trying to hold on to this garage for the final four teams' points. Nice oh, two-piece for dude. Goon again. That is going to actually make it a lot easier now for Team Caliber to rotate. You're going to see Sharp continue to apply pressure 
to that bottom ramp. Meanwhile, it's Theory inside the new HP, and we're gonna see can Sharp continue to anchor? He's actually gonna push up and try and play up close and personal here on the hill. All the pressure coming through the alley, and it's gonna be Looney to watch the window. One more play from the gaming, trying to push through that doorway. And Looney's actually gonna get for a challenge. Very overzealous, but Sharp is that to trade that kill. He falls from behind, and TK and just throwing that one away. Yeah, look how far out you saw Gunjar spawning. Theory, he is gonna try and break in now as well, but. That was a huge miss opportunity. TK just getting a little bit too aggressive. When they didn't see Optic, they went hunting and they were punished. The key was Formal actually sneaking in from behind through the window. As Looney is going to try and push through. But with Woman at 17, you could see the potential of a comeback in that game. But Formal playing just too smart, too intelligent. Catches TK from behind with the pants down and Optic Gaming should pick up the game one. All right, so Optic Gaming basically going to lock this one up with a minute and 15 still to go. I'm going to watch Scump as long as I possibly can. He's at 44 and 31. How many kills can this man finish Think with? Think how he turned this game around. He was so slow for the first two minutes, nearly three minutes, and finishing 44 and 32 is unbelievable. When you need a Scump to step up, he did just that. Definitely, that spree, BenQ best play material, if oh. you ask me. We'll see how many kills he's going to finish with. Krim trying to go for his 30 bomb. 27 and 31. Scump could drop 50 kills. Can you go back on with Scump? Because yeah, okay. I, I just want to see how many kills he's going to finally finish with. In fact, he actually falls back out. He's still, what, 27 seconds left he in this game. He likes to get the kills when we don't launch him. Back. He does, yeah. Maybe he's a bit camera shy. That, that might be the one. Three guys inside the hard point. Scump doesn't care. He'll challenge all of them. Pre-firing, two players jumping out. He will get <laughs> cut down. Theory, pretty impressive performance from him. Same thing with Gunjar. Really excited to see TK, though, coming out aggressive against Optic. They're fearless here in this matchup, nothing to lose. And really, if you looked at just the first five minutes, you would say they had total control oh, of that they, game. They did, without a doubt. But Optic came and just turned up. They flicked the switch, and they managed to just get Scumpy doing what they need Scumpy to do, which is just win as many gunfights as he possibly can. Now, though, there's so much pressure on the next map. So much, and that's his destroy. If PK lose that, the series is done. Scump 48 and 35 as Optic's going to take game number one. 234 to 192 overall. Theory did get his 40 bomb at 40, 33, 11 caps and six defense. But we have four more games potentially still to go. Coming up next, we got Search and Destroy. What map are we headed to? We're going over to Search and Destroy Recovery. I think the second time we've seen it here in Season 1 Finals. All right, guys, don't go anywhere. You're not going to want to miss this.